So, you've been waiting weeks to learn how to create your own custom New Game Plus for Sigma 2 on PC? Well, here I am. Hey everyone, Guilty here. It's been almost two months since I published the first Sigma 2 hex editing video, and it's far past time we close the loop on this title. Today, I will show you how to create your own New Game Plus. We're talking maxed out weapons, infinite items, an off the screen health bar, as many Ninpo slots as you want, and the heavenly projectile we thought was exclusive to Vanilla Ninja Gaiden 2, the Incendiary Shuriken. We did it! The son of a bitch did it! All at the first save statue. So let's start with generating the data file we're going to modify. Start a new game and save the first statue down the bridge from your Masas. In an echo of the other Sigma 2 video, assuming you have the game installed, you will need to open Sigma 2's story save data file. In your documents folder, find Koei Tecmo, go to Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and then story save. If you have no other saves present, you should only find story save 0.dat. Open it in your hex editor, and crack those knuckles. Our first changes will affect reuse health and ninpo. Scroll to offset 1454, and for a respectable health bar, enter 080C, 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 080C. For an off the screen batshit insane health bar, enter 0C80, 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 0C80. For Ninpo, go down a line to offset 1478. For 13 Ninpo slots, I entered 800A, 800A. Experiment a little to find the number of Ninpo slots you might want. As an aside, Reuse costume can be changed at 147 Echo. For example, 0000 is Legendary Black Falcon, and 0606 is Dead or Alive Throwback. 01, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are the other costumes that Ryu can equip. You can try to change his model to Momiji, Ayane, or Rachel by typing in numbers greater than 06. You could try 0707, 0 Bravo, 0 Bravo, but you're probably gonna crash your game more often than actually successfully change the model. Now, for the reason you're really here, beefing up Ryu's personal armory. Offset 14 Bravo 4 should be at the end of a pre-existing table of hex data. The hex scheme for Sigma 2 starts with a unique one-byte identifier, such as 09 or 0 Charlie. For healing items, you would follow that identifier with 00, XX, 00, XX being the variable whatever quantity you want, but in hex value. For example, the identifier for the herbs of spiritual life, the small HP regens, is 08. And to give Ryu five of these herbs, you would type 08, 00, 05, 00. To give Ryu 10 herbs, you would type 08, 00, 0A, 00. To give Ryu infinite herbs, type 0800FF00. The identifier for the grains of spiritual life, the larger HP regens, is 09. The Devil Way mushrooms are 4 Echo. The Talisman of Rebirth is 0 Alpha. And Miramasa's Omosubi is 74. To give Ryu infinite items, just do the exact same thing that we did in our example with the herbs of spiritual life. Regarding melee weapons and ninpo, because there are three upgrade levels, there are three different code combinations, with XX being the variable that dictates what ninpo or weapon you are trying to generate. XX000100 for level 1, XX000101 for level 2, and XX000102 for level 3. Let's start with Ninpo as an example. Art of the Inferno is 06. For a level 3 Inferno, you would type 06, 00, 01, 02. Windblades is 52. So for level 1 Windblades, type 52, 00, 01, 00. 00. Flame Phoenix is 53, and Piercing Void is 92. There are a good handful of melee weapons in Sigma 2. Remember, these hex codes follow the same scheme as Ninpo, with 0100, 0101, or 0102 
dictating the level, except for the True Dragon Sword. True Dragon Sword is 0700100. The Flails, 0 Charlie. Tonfa is 11. Scythe is 12. Twin Swords is 13. Kusarigama is 14. Talons are 15. Lunar is 18. Enma's Fang is 21. And the Blade of the Archfiend is Charlie Charlie. Projectiles don't follow a rigid scheme. There's only a few of them anyway. But to prevent crashes, you will need the bow to equip and use either the Howling Cannon or the Incendiary Shuriken. Equip the bow as soon as you load your game, then you'll be good to go. The hex code for the bow is 9300100. To give Ryu the Howling Cannon early, enter 51010100. But when in game, equip the bow at least once, then select the cannon. Otherwise, the game will lock and crash. You will apply that same principle to the incendiary shuriken. Enter 23000100. They will replace the bow as a projectile to accompany your regular shuriken. So remember to use the same button as your bow to throw them. And don't forget, you can UT with them. Lastly, we're going to beef up the girls. Of all the complaints I have seen regarding Sigma 2, especially Master Ninja difficulty, it's that the girls are nowhere near as strong, versatile, or resilient as Ryu. Ryu getting one-shotted by grabs is one thing, but Momiji getting absolutely bodied by the Tengu takes me to another level of pissed off. So let's try to compensate. Each female character has their own hex table similar to Ryu's, but they do not populate with data until you start that character's chapter. If you're still at the first save statue in chapter one, the offsets I give you will have nothing but zeros and FF bytes, but that's all right. The changes we make will still be implemented when you begin the character's respective chapter. Rachel's is the next table after reuse, and we will start at offset 16 Bravo zero. Change the zero zero to a zero one. Think of this as an activation byte for the changes we want to make. Rachel's health points start at offset 1714. Here you can type in the same two codes we used for Ryu, either 080C repeating or 0C80 repeating four times. To similarly give her 13 sorcery slots, go to offset 1738 and type 800 alpha 800 alpha. We can also preload items using the same codes as with Ryu. For Rachel, go to offset 1770 and type in the codes for the items you want to start a chapter with. You want infinite small herbs? 0800FF00. Want a handful of devil mushrooms? 4E000A00. You can even add reused weapons to Rachel's inventory, but they won't work, trust me. Ayane is next. At offset 1970, change the 00 to 01 to activate her, then go to 19 Delta 4 to adjust health, and 19 Foxtrot 8 to mod Ninpo. 1 Alpha 30 is where her inventory starts. Lastly, we have Best Girl Momiji. Change the 00 at 1 Charlie 30 to 01 to activate her. Go to 1 Charlie 94 to mod health, and 1 Charlie Bravo 8 to mod Ninpo. Momiji's inventory starts at 1 Charlie Foxtrot 0. And that will do it. I will paste a Google Drive link in the description and a pinned comment if you want to save a notepad copy of my findings. There's really no point including the hex codes for the girls' melee weapons, projectile weapons, and ninpo because they do not work across characters. Again, trust me on this. Also, if you really, really want to see the windmill shuriken, it's code 22000100. But be warned, selecting it will crash the game. Fuck you, Windmill! Fuck you! Come on! If someone figures out how to make it work, you'd be an instant greater ninja in my eyes. This is the last hex editing video for Sigma 2, for the time being at least. If anything new is discovered, especially regarding the Windmill Shuriken, you know I'll bring it to you right here. However, it's time I move on to the next game in this series, Ninja Gaiden 3. Now, do I mean Razor's Edge NG3 or Vanilla NG3? Even I don't know, so I guess we'll all find out together in the next video. Guilty Gaming launched as a brand just one year ago, and we've grown from a couple dozen subscribers to over 750. I would be thrilled to maintain this momentum and hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It would just totally make my year. My Twitch channel isn't doing too bad either, we're almost at 50 followers, but the biggest achievement I think is the Guilty Gaming Discord. What was an empty vacuum where I would share gameplay and record commentary with Dietrich 
has become a bustling community of 650 members. Writing out this part of the script actually has got me thinking I should create special flair for some of my oest of OG members. I'm looking at three of y'all right now, actually. Anyway, thanks again for coming by. If you like what you see and want to see more, you can follow me on Twitch, join us at the Discord server, or at the very least, like, subscribe, and go outside. <laughs>